Hello there guys, welcome to episode 5 of my Blackpool gameplay. Had to make a few changes so far. Um, put all, I've just had to put Ormorod behind the striker at the moment. We had a few other ones, Clarkson and McLeod, that are actually knackered at the moment to play this game. So I'm not going to put them in at this time. But let's get right into it against Colchester. Um, I've just actually had a look at the fixtures. And um, after a few games, there are about 5 home games in a row, I think. And 1 cup competition within it. So... I'm hoping that that could be a little run that we could go on because the home form is, is what we want to take pride in. I'm hoping that we can make this a fortress just like Madeira is doing right now for us. Um, but I think those games are going to be crucial if we're going to go up. Uh, those run of home games are so important because we know that somewhere along the line there's going to be a run of away games uh, just like that. So we've got to make sure that we get the points there, uh, which puts us under less pressure for when we go to those away games in the future. 3-1 uh, already, Bullock with the third goal there. When they scored, to be honest with you, I did think, oh God, here we go again. But we're not. So 5,600 is the attendance at half-time, not too bad. Uh, Oldham away next. Oldham 11th, 11th, sorry. Yeah, Colchester were near those playoffs, actually. So this is actually a really good result in order to stop them trying to climb up and bridge that gap between us. So we've still got Dale Gordon doing a good job at left back as well. Still waiting for one of those to come back. Ormrod with the goal. See, Ormrod's playing all right in that position. I do wonder whether just to keep it like that and play him as an attacking midfielder going forward. I don't know. It, it could be worth it. It could be a shout. But I don't know. We'll have to see. That's not bloody unbelievable at the minute, though, aren't we? John O'Kane. Richie Wellens in that centre. We'll take Richie off. He's clearly tired. Gordon is tired. And he needs to actually be fit for the next game because we still don't have a good left back. And he played an 8 then, which shows how fantastic he's been doing. wonder if Madeira could get another one here. That would have been three hat-tricks in a row. Not quite... Second in the league, though, another big win. Board's happy with us, absolutely delighted with us, and what, why shouldn't they be, really? We're, we're doing wonders at the moment. I think the aim at the beginning of the season was to maintain a respectable position in the league, and I think we, we've, we're going to do that, definitely. Strachan's back, wonderful. Well, and, oh, Christ, here we go. Premier League teams are coming calling. I'm going to quickly just... Put that there. 1.5 million. At least. At least it'll sort the finances out. Right, Kieran Richardson. I'm going to put Clarkson back in. Hopefully, yeah, he's fit. That's good news. Strachan is back as well, which works out really well for us. Oh, no, he's not. He's not ready yet. He's 71%. Richie Wellins. He's 90. Redding. How's he doing? He's back now, actually. He can play. John O'Kane. Bullock. Let's take Bullock off here. Alright. Let's see how this team plays. Wellens, good job I played him. Maybe 90%, but he knows where the net is. Yeah, I'm telling you, this this could work. This might be a good combination. Ormrod behind. It's got the makings. Definitely got the makings. Bloody hell. Where's he coming from here, Brett? Wow. Fair dues. Hold on, Mike. There are no pushovers. Right, there, there's that run of home games. Can you see? There's four of them, actually, including an FA Cup game, uh, which comes straight after this. So, I mean, it's looking like we've got the result here, uh, which means good news for when we do go on those home games, that little run in there. I might take Wellens off now, actually. I think he's done his job. Ah! No, he's 79% at the moment. Give him a little bit longer. It's 
sort of eat this time up here. Okay, um, we'll shove Richards in, Richardson in for Wellins. Can we just have a look at these? Thompson. Yeah, let's take Gordon off again. He's doing a great job, Gordon, at the minute. I'm going to bring Bullock on for Clarkson as well. Just like for likes, really. Oh, shit. Okay, 20 minutes of this now. 10 minutes. 10 minutes down to 10 men. I think we've managed to do it. Yeesh. Okay, take it. Lovely job, Lee. Hughes, two weeks. That's rubbish. Thompson can come in though there. He's not a bad little player. Okay. Redding, 27th. Let's see how we get on with you. This is the run of home games, the four home games that we've got in a row. Now, why? Seriously, and, and, you know, and he's actually offered this guy a new contract because he's actually done really well. People just coming in for players just because they're playing now. Like Dale Gordon's had a few good games. People just come in. Oh, yes. And he's actually going out. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dale. Right. Strachan, still 89%. No, I'm not going to play him. I might bring him on, but I'm not going to start him here. Reading are quite a big club as well. Reading are big, you know, for where they are. I'm quite surprised that they're this low down in the leagues. They've got like a 21,000 seat stadium, I'm sure they do. They shouldn't be down here. <laughs> Get in. It's mad to think that Jamie Curitan only just hung up his boots as well. God, he knew where the back of the net was, didn't he? Let's go to the top of the league here if we win this. Bristol City on the third coming up. Oh, man. Come on, we need a goal. What's going on? Oh, man. There he is, Jamie Curitan. It's because I looked at him. I jinxed it by looking at his stats. Oh, I've gutted there. I've gutted that we got beat. I'm going to bring Strachan back in for the next game. I think he's ready for it. Oh, Mod wanted now as well. West Bromwich Albion. He signed a new contract, though. Thing is, he'll probably get up... If, if a bid comes in, he'll probably get upset the fact that I've rejected it. A good player, 17 finishing. Agility's 18, acceleration 17. Stamina 17, teamwork 17, pace 18. He's quite a good player. Maybe that's why he is playing so well just behind. There we go. Just accept that contract, that'll do. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's just see where we are now. Financial trouble at Everton. There's financial trouble everywhere, mate. Look at this, trying to make a bloody profit. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. We have a run now of consecutive home games, three home games coming up in a row, uh, Bristol City, Tramier, and Wickham. Uh, so looking forward to those, hoping we can get six points from the two league games and hopefully a victory in the FA Cup against Wickham, which gets us through to the second round. Anyway, guys, please hit that like button, come back and watch the next episode, and I'll see you guys later.